He had so many eras of mm. his life, you know, yeah. and then the massive fame mm. with Father Ted. But what was he like as a dad at home? He was always there. Uh, I couldn't get rid of him, frankly. Yeah, he, was, <laughs> he, was, he was always around. He was a very present dad. He was very... Um, interested in our lives and we were sort of interested in what he was up to and like that he'd be writing scripts in the morning on a, this big electric typewriter on the kitchen table and we'd be kind of running around um, you know if we had hobbies that we were into he'd be, he'd be mad into kind of supporting those and encouraging those mm. um, and then it was things like Sunday afternoon watching war movies on the couch together and this kind of the silences that people don't realise people think of as a very hyperactive man and he was um, but he was, you could have these hours of silence just watching like an healing comedy or, you know, mm. Bridge in the River Choir or something like that. Um, and uh, then going to League of Ireland matches where there was always silence at UCD home games. <laughs> <laughs> a massive fan, wasn't he? Fan yes, he was. He was a committed football fan. Yes. Yeah, well, I watched the Lenten episode, you know, the one where they give up the cigarettes and alcohol yeah. and all right. with my kids. And my, my eldest son, Dermot, who, uh, like the three of them, they're all at an angle to the universe. But he was rolling up pieces of paper a couple of days ago and he was cutting them in two. I said, what are you doing? I'm giving up cigarettes for Lent, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so but he was, nice. He was, he was reenacting the scene. But like, I mean, he was cr like creasing himself on the floor laughing at it. But they all, they, they love that kind of absurd stuff. And, and the thing is, like, starting comedy now, like, you can do, there's, there's gigs in Whelan's and, and, and yeah. open mics and stuff. Like that. There, was no, there was no comedy industry in Ireland. So literally, he was writing letters and silly letters into Mike Murphy, who had the early morning slot on, on Radio Erin. And, like, that was how he got in. And Mike said... We're doing this TV show. He sounds like a bit of a larf. They went over to Belfield, some do some gigs in, in UCD, and and it all kind of snowballed from there. But like the, the most absurd, you know, entry point into into that kind of work. You wouldn't do that these days. Mm.